Hello everyone, I'm Jay and this is the Camden Stitch. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be taking you through the latest Birder magazine, which I thought I would do as an overhead uh, disembodied hands vlog uh, because otherwise you're just watching me reading a magazine which doesn't sound that exciting does it right I shall see you on the other side bye this is uh, the September Birder magazine and I'm getting great share vibes from that lady's hair otherwise she's been on the curly girl method uh, so let's have a look at the patterns I'm gonna dive straight into the patterns themselves uh, so the first photo shoot is called Into the Blue and um, I have to say I'm not incredibly impressed with what they've led with this month. So they start off with this blouse which because of the way that they've sewn up the sample and styled um, and shot it you can't really see uh, the nicest thing about it which is that it's got these lovely little petal sleeves. But even so, you know, it's just a basic woven top with a grown on sleeve and a bust start. It's nothing groundbreaking and I think it's a bit boring to lead with really. Um, then we've got this top which has a feature of having like a tie piece at the back, uh, which you can see here on the line drawing. And again, I don't think the sample shows it off very well. And... Um, I don't really like it as a top either, I'm afraid. Um, next up, we have got this pretty strange jacket. Now, I looked this up, it's for stretch fabrics only. It does say woven fabrics with some stretch, but mainly they want you to sew up in a stretch knit. And there is a nicer version of it later on. I mean, I think that's per perfectly nice, but to me, it kind of doesn't really make any sense. It's designed like to look like a cardigan, but it's cropped, so you can't really wear anything underneath it unless you're wearing something high-waisted and tucked in. Um, it's got this belt, which is presumably designed to be worn done up. I'm just not sure about the utility of this garment. I don't dislike how it looks, but I just can't ever see a situation where you'd pick that up and want to wear it. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, the next... Uh, thing they've got is this skirt which has got like a twisted waistband which again they've sewn up in a sample that allows you not to be able to see any of the detail at all well done birder and um, then we've got this pretty funky jacket that's got some seaming that allows you to put a contrast at the back of the sleeve maybe it's a two-piece sleeve um, or I'm not sure if it's an actual uh, stripe on the sleeve or if that's a two-piece sleeve and then they've got it at the back of the belt as well um, it's just a kind of robe it's okay I don't think I'd ever wear it um, then we've got yet another wrap dress I mean I counted and there's three different wrap patterns in this birder it's not that I dislike wrap dresses and wrap tops it's just I think that they've been done now um, they just seem to be in every single pattern release there just seems to be so many and this I don't know what's happening with this it to me it looks really really dated who does that in a studio now hangs up bits of denim I don't know not sure about that however this wrap dress as they go I do like it it's got these little patch pockets it's got a little stand collar um, and I do think it looks nice, I think it looks great in the stripe that they've sewn it up in. Um, moving on, we've got a jersey top that's got a little tie at the waist that cinches it in at the side. It's okay. You can hear how lukewarm I am. Now then, I do love these trousers. I think they are smashing. I wish I could wear trousers like this. I don't think they flatter me, but I think these are pretty gorgeous. They have got little tabs at the side, two buttons at the top, fly, 
yeah they're going to be quite an in-depth sew for Birda uh, considering Birda don't have very in-depth instructions they had some pants in the last um, in August Birda and when I read the instructions I just thought no not not good enough for me they're not um, in-depth enough for, for my level of sewing next up we've got a bag that you can make which is okay now then I absolutely love this coat I think it's fantastic so this is a designer uh, pattern that they've got and they've included the fashion sketch um, which I think is lovely and it's got removable sleeves which I just think look absolutely brilliant I love the fact that you can change it from being a sleeveless trench to having sleeves um, I think it looks great without sleeves because it, it's got this kind of overcut shoulder They've done some uh, embroidery on it that I think looks really, really good. And then a feature of this is it's got this little section here, which you can see more on the next page, um, which is actually a section of pleated chiffon um, just on one side, which just gives it a really kind of quirky look. I'll show you on the next page. There it is. I love it. I mean, I think it's so high fashion I think it would be a really in-depth make um, although I've read the instructions and they don't look too hellish um, I love it my only difficult there's the back flaps my only difficulty with this pattern is that I've already got a ready-to-wear trench that's almost identical in um, Prince of Wales check and I would hate to spend all that time making a coat just um, for it not really to get worn because I don't really have a place for it in my wardrobe but I do absolutely love it moving on we have the strange jacket again this time made up in this very nice soft pink um, looks like Pontinet oh no stretch twill um, with a covered buckle belt which I love and it looks like they've got poppers instead of buttons to close it it's just if you're going to make a casual type jacket, I much prefer the one that was in last month's Birda. I would go for that um, over this every time. Then we've got the lovely trousers again, which look great there, made up in this sort of camel. I think they look really stylish. We've got a plain t-shirt. Oh, that's the t-shirt with the gather waist, which you can't actually see on that picture. Um, then we've got this jersey dress, which I think is gorgeous. Again, it's got the belt. I bet they've used the one from the other jacket for that. Um, the belt with the covered buckle and it's got these really nice sleeves that are gathered to a cuff. And there is it without the buckle, without the belt. And you can see it's just a really casual jersey dress. It would be so quick to sew. Um, there's that top again. This is the robe sort of coat, but a longer version of it. Um, it's okay a lot of these clothes are a bit kind of office dressy for me you know they'd never have a place in my wardrobe not even in my fictitious fantasy life where I've got a job um, this is the top again with the strange bits around the back I don't know I do not like it at all it doesn't look they look like flags they look like flags at the beginning of Formula One it doesn't it doesn't serve to cinch it in because it's still loose it doesn't give it any shape it's just a feature that's not doing anything it's just sitting there and I don't like it one bit anyway I do love this top this top is got has got a sort of grown on um, polo neck what do you call it turtleneck um, and these amazing long cuffed sleeves gathered um, which look really great that you could sew this up in a nice viscose jersey it would be a really nice stylish comfortable top I like it it's called a, ch a chalice chalice collar um, then we've got a top with a sort of keyhole neck I think it's pretty dull but it's okay um, that is the skirt that's got the feature at the waist again you can't really see it but it's okay Don't know. 
it's not mad keen. Uh, then they have done a sort of feature on the waistcoat and this is the pattern that they've given you. I just think it is horrible. I don't know when you'd ever wear it. I suppose it might look good on a tall person. It's got the princess seams, it's got the neck darts, it's got the front reveres. I don't know. It's a style, but I guess it's just not my style. I feel bad about this because I'm sure some people who are watching this will like some of the things that I like. But I can't sit here and pretend and go, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Some of these are not my taste. Um, this is a shoot that they've done with a kind of 1960s Italian vibe. This is the return of the dreaded bootcut trouser. I remember that from last time. It does me no favours, but these I think look great on the model. Um, I like those that print that they've done it in with the little three-quarter cut. Um, she's wearing it with one of those knit tops sewn up in green, which I like. Then we've got this coat, which I think is a cool idea, but if you look at it on her, right, I think it's just not realised quite right. It just is swallowing her. I can see the idea of it, but the collar's so big, you've got the shearling on the inside, the faux leather's so stiff that it just looks too much on her. I don't know what it would look like if the zip was done up more. I don't know. I'd like to see that made up in something else and see what it looks like. Unfortunately, that's the only uh, version that they've made it up in. Then we've got the wrap dress again. I like the fabric that they've used very much. Um, then we've got the knit dress again. And I just think I love the way that they've made it up. I love the... Um, tweed in it that they've used i love the buckle i think that looks like such a chic office outfit considering it's just basically a straight pull on almost like a sweater dress um and we've got another dress that i think is really pretty look at this look at these crazy darts you've got these darts that go up to the bust and then you've got these sections that come down with a cut inside panel um, so you could easily colour color block that in like, a, if you wanted to use like a dark shade at the waist and a lighter shade there, it would provide a really kind of um, like give you an hourglass effect. Um, but this is what they've made it up in. They've made it up in a fabric that you cannot see the seaming at all. And I just think, why? Why? Why, Birda? Why? Then we got that tunic again uh, with the little petal sleeves. Um, this jacket I think is lovely, but again, we can't see any of the details. It's got, sorry, that's my light, you can't see it. It's got this little kind of uh, vertical bow, a curved yoke. It looks like it's a swing cut, and in fact, when you see the back picture, you can tell it is. These cute, 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 cute little bows on the wrist. And I think they could have made that in white and piped it and it would have looked so chic and nice but it just loses it all in black here is a more close-up picture where you can see the piping and then they give you a sewing lesson on how to make that one further on uh, this is the keyhole neck again I absolutely adore that fabric they've really gone for these big Buckles as a kind of motif, haven't they, through this whole edition? Um, love this skirt. The skirt's got sort of side panels. I'm not sure if that's the side seam that comes round uh, to the front or if it's a panel at the side, but it's okay. You know, I never make separate, so it's hard for me to see. I can see how there would be room for a skirt like that in your wardrobe. Um, then we've got the sewing lesson to make this jacket and as you can see at the back it's got this sort of swing style 
cut down from the yolk. Um, I think it could look really nice. It might be good because they've got the extra instructions for it. Then we've got the larger size range, the extended size range. So this dress I think is really nice, even though it's a wrap dress. It's just a wrap front dress. And I really like the way that you can um, colour block the different sections. So they've done it in like a pattern at the top um, and then a plain. So it looks like she's wearing separates, but it's actually a dress. Um, then we've got this jacket with this kind of weird collar which might look good I don't really like it the way that it's been made up there but just not my style um, then we got a wrap top with a d-ring and um, that you put little rivets on um, looks a bit a bit boring for me but I love the colour of the fabric that they've made it up in. Um, a really nice coat here with sort of princess seams. I really like the classic lines of this coat. Um, this wrap top again in a patterned fabric. Uh, then we've got a shirt that I think has got really, really pretty sleeves. You can see the close up here of the ties at the sleeves. I think that's really, really nice. Lovely fabric. And I really like those buttons when they do two little buttons next to each other. Then they've made up this dress in like a dusky pink and a, like a mulberry colour. And I think it looks just brilliant. I love that shot as well. I think that's a great shot of the model. Um, really love that. I think that's really stylish. You've got a sewing lesson for the wrap top. Uh, I really like it that they're doing two sew sewing lessons in each edition. It gives you a better chance of knowing that you'll get better instructions for one of the patterns that you like. Then we've got the retro pattern. This is the original and this is the one that they've made up. Um, this is the line drawing for it. So it's got these very exaggerated hourglass type seaming not particularly to my taste but and that pencil skirt was actually I'm sure it's the same one that was in the last month's edition moving on um, we've got the kids which are all kind of German traditional dress so um, there's they've got some knee-high socks for boys and something called a, a Yanka um yeah it's all a bit trad lederhosen for me um look at this cutie cutie cute cutie girls dress though and then they've got the like dirndl skirt that you put on the top of it um and this pin touch shirt for a boy and that ladies is september's birder magazine well, I hope you enjoyed looking at Birda with me today. Tell me what you think. All right, nothing was going to live up to last month's, but I think there's some wonderful ones in there. I especially love that trench coat, and I don't know when I'm going to get time to make up something like that, especially as I've already got quite a similar ready-to-wear coat. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to see somebody make that up and um, see what it comes out like. Um, all right. Let me know what you think of these. Also, let me know if any of you have made anything from last month's Birda pattern. I know that Jenny Flake made um, one of the jackets which I reposted on my Instagram and it came out absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if anybody else has made anything, but if they have, then um, if you can tag me on Instagram or send me a direct message just in case I miss the tag, then I'd love to see it. All right, it's been lovely spending time with you today. If you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, click on the button below. And if you click on the ding ding bell, then you'll get notifications every time I post a new vlog. Mwah. See you later, lots of love.